Hold on, buddy. I want to join you. Come on. It's been so long since I've had a bite of anything good. My 40-day fast is a fucking officially over. Over. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Let's do it. Oh, my God. Are your balls tingling? What are you doing today? I ate nothing! Now, you want to fast right now? Somebody yeah. said you're yes, fasting. Yes, I am. How long is the fast going to last? 40 days. Any food at all? Any substance? Yeah, well, no, I drink juice, water, drink sea moss. Sea moss? What does that do for you? Sea moss, well, see, the body is comprised of 102 minerals, and sea moss has 99 of them. So you're feeling good? Yeah. Would you recommend this to a guy like Tyrese? I would recommend it for everyone. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Godspeed Podcast. I am your host, Joe Guy. I am Dan Eats Everything. For some reason, Dan's on some kind of kick tonight. I don't know what's going on. Um, Let's start with this, Joe. Um, This is a very important podcast to you. Let's, uh, why don't you explain to the viewers what's what's going on in your life right now? Uh, so today. Uh-huh. I'm listening. I fucking love it, bro. I'm already excited <laughs> for you. <laughs> um, in a few minutes, uh, I, my 40 day water fast will be over. 40 day water fast. I did not eat, mean? drink any juices, no supplements, no vitamins, no herbs, nothing. Literally just water for 40 days. Just water for 40 days. Yeah. Telling, that's what you're telling people. You haven't eaten anything. And I know like you're not, a, you're not a big, um, <laughs> No, you think this guy? is bugging me, but I love that you're eating fruit right now. You're not a big food guy. I mean, well, you're you're not you're not into like non you're not into non fruits, right? Correct. But how could somebody go for, forty days? <laughs> you're an asshole. Excuse me. Forty days. <laughs> Without any, all right, I'll stop with it. No, no, so dude. I'll, I want you to put as much fruit in you as possible. Please keep going, bud. Why? Why would you want that? Huh? Why? <laughs> Bro, it's not a fucking Red Bull. It's not a fucking ice cream. It's not a fucking bag of fucking chips like episode six. That's a juicy fucking apple. It's probably delicious, huh? Mmm. You know, it's pretty good. I bet. It looks good. Look, I even want my special shirt for you. Pineapple. <laughs> for you, bud. You're funny, bro. Don't wear that on a cruise. <laughs> or do. Or so, or do if you want to swing. Fucking shit. I don't even know what to do with all this. Eat it. So, it's juicy. Um, Excuse me. <clears throat> my God. I haven't eaten an apple like that in a long time. Usually, you know, you cut it up and yeah, you sm- you'll smear peanut butter or caramel no. all over it. And- all right, you lost me. <laughs> you lost me. All right, so all jokes aside, you haven't had a bite of food in forty days. Forty days. No supplements. No supplements. No herbs. It's no juice. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Banana was looking at me again. Bro, enjoy it because I'm gonna be able to enjoy it very shortly. I will inter- I have? will interrupt this podcast as soon as it's time. <laughs> How many? You are looking really thin, though. I will say yeah. that. Yeah, I've lost a ton of weight. Actually, yeah. uh, here we go. Would, I, let, let me. Uh, so this is. This is what I weighed. Hold on one second. Hold on. Are grapes good for you? Yeah. Mm. These are really juicy grapes. You're oh my god! A, I know you're trying to be a dick right now, but I'm <laughs> I'm so proud of you for eating just a ton of fruit right now. So that's what I weighed when I started. You see that? Two hundred seven. Two hundred seven. Um, okay. Respectable. And, but I, so that's because of cashews. Like I was going hard on cashews. I was eating about a pound of cashews a day because I found out they're a fruit and. Uh-huh. That's what I'm about to have pretty soon. Watermelon. Um, and this is what I weigh now. 
Jesus <laughs> Christ, bro. <laughs> 156. You drop 40 pounds? That's 10 pounds a week? That's 10, No, that's, that's, a, that's 50 a pound pounds. a day. No, 50 pounds. My math is bad. I'm, I'm doing I'm doing processed sugar math. 51 pounds. On natural sugar math. Yeah. 51 pounds in 40 days. I, I, I know you're going to hate what I'm about to say right now. Oh, here it is. It's the mother. It's the mother of all fruits. Mmm. What is it? I can't even see it. Oh, you can't. Is that durian? Gold? No, golden pineapple. Oh, okay. Is that durian? Mm. You eating so much right now? <laughs> yeah, so many people love durian. <laughs> but yeah, um, 50 pounds. I, I, I was doing dumbbells uh-huh. and stuff for, for a good portion of it. Um, so you're trying to bulk up while not eating yeah keep uh keep my muscle on but um mm. i'm gonna go hard on on lifting That's a good and stuff strawberry like that i love that you're eating all fruit bro i'm proud of you <laughs> you could have waited a few more minutes and, and, but you know it's fine is your mouth is your mouth watering that's my real question are you hungry well as soon as you a took a bite bit. of that watermelon i'm like yo I went to a farm and bought a whole bunch of seeded watermelon, organic seeded watermelons, and Dude, I, I'm stocked up. I keep up. asking. I keep asking. Are you going to start growing your own? Uh, I'm in a rental right now, so if I start growing something, it's not going to be grown until I'm out of this fucking place mm. anyway. You know what I mean? Right. So, also, the growing season is over. Yeah. Now oh, that yeah. I think about it. Yeah. Win- winter Winter is coming. <laughs> 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 okay so uh you've lost 50 pounds 50 plus pounds yeah that in 40 days that's pretty incredible yeah um what other uh differences do you have you seen or felt so uh obviously i feel lighter um th- it's hard to say what my what differences there are right now because it's literally i'm i'm like 10 minutes away from actually uh finishing it so i the, my energy is still low when I start eating, I literally, I'm going to be able to take a few bites and then I need to calm down because there's nothing inside of me that's working digestively right now. So once I'm, right. st- once I start eating, I want to make sure I can keep everything down. You know what I mean? Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. So I need to go slow. It's like, uh, it's like if you stopped eating meat for a while, you're, yeah. um, uh-huh. <laughs> your body mm. stops creating stuff that can digest the meat. So you won't be able right. to just start eating meat right away. Not that you should be eating meat anyway. Right. Right. Um, right. You but should be, I mean, that's, that's a good looking steak right there. Isn't it? Show me that again. That looked delicious. Mm, here, right on. <laughs> that's so good. dude. Mm-hmm. So, um, <laughs> I, I made a list mm-hmm. of every day of my energy and shit. Mm -hmm. Um, So that's the list. I had a lot of energy. I had a bit of energy, a lot of energy. There was days where I was fatigued, but I noticed the days where I was fatigued and like super, super tired were the days that I'd go out and mow the lawn or the days I'd be doing tons of stuff or I'd be active running around with Gunner and stuff like that. So it it, it made it so I was exhausted and I've, I've watched a whole bunch of videos and stuff like that. And when people go on 40 day fast, they don't do anything. Right. My ass was still going to work. I was still fucking, you know what I mean? So, uh, the days I felt fatigued were, were the days that I was doing a bunch of stuff. Um, I haven't pooped since day 19. Um, Interesting. Yeah. I am. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm looking at your list here. Yeah. And I'm instantly drawn to the poop section. Maybe the poop section. Me. Yeah. Um, I see regular poop, regular poop. A few days go by. Mus- mucus like liquid. Yeah. Now, I've sh- I've shit like that while eating. So that's pro- there's probably something really wrong with me. <laughs> black black liquid also puked a couple times because you drank some water. Yeah. So uh, on the day on the days I, I was like, water. man, I got to drink. I got to drink some water. Like I, I, I feel like tired or I felt off. I'd chug yeah. water and I'd fucking vomit it up. And I noticed that every time I would do that, I'd vomit it up. So I just mm. needed to drink slower. 
um, there, there's a lot of things to a fast that like if people want to jump into this, you can't jump into it. Uh, I did. A, so you're telling me not to do a 40 day fast today? No, no, <laughs> bro. No, <laughs> no. Uh, I tried it out to do 40 minute fast. Fuck a 40 day fast. Fuck the book. I did a, a 14 day fast last June. Uh, June 20th. I broke it on, I remember. The, on July 4th. Um, and it was the hardest. It was way harder than this fast. Physically, every day I was fatigued. Um, I just felt like shit every right. single day. I was miserable. I was snapping at everybody. That's why I broke the I, fast. I was only yeah, I remember. I was only three months into my all, all fruit diet, so my body Dude, wasn't I, ready for it. So you, if you're gonna do a fast, you need to prepare. Excuse me. I remember I texted you. I was like, Joe, what was the name of that um that band you told me to check out? And you were like, Go fuck your mother. I and never ever it. said that. I love your mom. I would never ever say that. Oh, that wasn't you. Okay, that was somebody else. Miss, I'm misremembering. Um, um, hold on, no, I'm not done with your poop. Let's, I'm, uh, let me look at your poop some more. Uh, had you had a colonic done? Oh yeah. So on day 18, I went and got a colonic. They they fill your body with. She filled my body with 40 gallons of water, just to flush huh? out, just to flush out the rest of the poop and shit that was stuck inside my intestines and my digestive tract. Yeah, um, how'd that feel? It was the weirdest fucking feeling I've ever felt in my life. Like, yeah, yeah, straight yeah. up fucking weird as fuck, dude. Like, it, it felt like I had to shit the entire time. Um, and the last day I pooped was the day after the colonic because I was I was emptying out whatever that was left inside <laughs> of me. Um, what I'm what I'm concerned is is black stringy oily poop that looked like tar. Yeah. That was on day ten. Yeah, I think it was parasites and shit. I poop like that not often, but like once in a while. It's that happens. <laughs> so but after day ten, that was your last shit. No. Well, uh, after the colonic. The colonic made me shit and then the day after the colonic <laughs> I flushed the rest of it out. So that was the last time I pooped, yeah. Yeah. Until tonight after I eat three bites yeah, of fucking watermelon. <laughs> you're probably gonna shit your pants, bro. Yeah. Can I get an don't update trust, on that poop too? Don't trust a no, fart. No, can I get a, can I get an update on tonight's poop? Yeah. Uh, fill yeah. fill me in. Sweet. Sure. Appreciate that. Sure. No, I don't want a picture. I, I, I don't will, take pictures you, of my shit. David's you, like no? David's like, dude, if you pass parasites, man, send me a picture. I'm not taking a picture of my shit. Uh <laughs> Dave David, I love you. You <laughs> You're a weird guy, <laughs> but I love you. Um, yeah, don't just send words. Don't I don't need picture. I don't pictures. need picture. I don't need a picture, and I believe it did happen. You're good. Um, okay. Uh, so the the um, the <sighs> hardest day before day thirty seven mm -hmm. was day eight. Day eight was the hardest day. I don't know why the that's, fuck it was. I vomited that's a bunch. A jump. Huh. It's quite a jump from day eight to day thirty-seven. Cake, yeah, fucking cake. Huh. I was I was surrounded by what, temptation. Oh, what kind of? I cake? didn't eat cake. Uh, oh. I was surrounded by temptation and and like you know tons of stuff. It was more mind. It was hard for the mind. But from day Damn. eight to day thirty-seven, there was a couple days in there that I was fatigued because I go mow the lawn or do like you know activity shit, so I'd be tired. But the last three days have been so fucking hard like mm. this shit was like i'm gonna test you now motherfucker you want to get the 40 days you're gonna fucking earn it do you like peaches i do like peaches <laughs> mm. this one's a little it's juicy but a little hard for my liking i've been told if you put a peach in a brown paper bag for a couple of days it it'll soften them up this is good it's good a little, a little hard though. Yeah. Uh huh. Bro, how delicious is the fruit you're eating right now? It's all great. Why can't you just go on a fruit diet? <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, do you want me to play a video? 
Are we playing videos on this episode? Yeah, if you want to. I got. I mean, I got a couple questions for you, but go ahead. Play yeah, your video. You, you... All right. So, uh, we'll, all right. We'll, all right. We'll just we'll play a video real quick. Uh, this might be my favorite, actually. Better than the pineapple, even. Really? The peach? I love, I love peaches. All right. Here's, uh, here's someone explaining what a... Uh, actually, I think this is Thor explaining it. Uh, what what fasting does? My food contains glucose, <laughs> the fuel that feeds the trillions of healthy cells in my body. But that glucose also feeds something else: zombie cells, old damaged cells that have lingered beyond their useful life by spewing toxic sludge. These zombies infect other healthy cells, speeding up the aging process. Everything from hair loss and wrinkles to the onset of arthritis, cancer and dementia. But what scientists have realized is that when we fast and cut off the supply of glucose, that zombie army is starved of energy, which saps them of their power. When food is plentiful, our body stores excess energy in the form of fat, under the skin and around the internal organs. When food is scarce, that fat is sent to the liver, where it's turned into an alternative fuel source called a ketone. And it's these ketones which provide the emergency power source, not only for our bodies, but also our brains. Keto diet. Or just fast. But that's how people go on keto diet and lose a bunch of weight. Yeah. I was, uh, when I, when I was eating whatever I wanted, uh, I did a, I did a key, I did a couple keto diets and I thought I was, I thought I was allergic to shellfish because I was getting headaches and I was getting uh, hives all over my arms. And mm-hmm. the reason I was eating shellfish a lot is because I got off meat and carbs and sugar. And so my body was reacting to me stopping the processed sugar and shit. I thought I was allergic to shellfish, but it wasn't. It was because I got my body off of trash. <clears throat> Excuse me. I did the keto diet. Well, I did the carnivore diet once. All I ate was meat and yeah. cheese and eggs. Dude, I dropped 30 pounds quick. But that first, <clears throat> excuse me, that first three days, I felt like I was hung over. Hold on, buddy. I want to join you. Come on. It's been so long since I've had a bite of anything good. My 40-day fast is a fucking officially... Over. Over. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Let's do it. Oh my god. I've waited so long for this this moment. How is it? Describe it. Are your balls tingling? Might be the best best watermelon I've ever had in my life. (laughs) It's so good. Here's the thing, buddy. I don't really like watermelon. I mean it for you. <laughs> okay? Thanks. Yeah. Yo. Was it good? Yeah. Everything, you, everything you've everything you been hoping and dreaming for for the last 40 days? Yeah. I don't know how much I should eat. <laughs> at least one more bite, bro. You should have two at least. Bro, it was so delightful. I gotta give you extra credit though, dude. Because, <clears throat> are you still feed eating Gunner raw? I stopped. You stopped feeding him raw? I couldn't do the, um, 
That's dude. That's super expensive. I could, yeah, I couldn't keep feeding him dead animal bodies when I'm super against eating dead animal bodies. Um, but yeah, so I had to stop the raw. Yeah, yeah, it was. I kept doing it. I did it for a while, and then I'm like, it just felt fucking weird every single time, and. And it was mad expensive. I was spending over five hundred dollars a month. Yeah, it's it's uh <clears throat> got a little caught in my throat going down. It's like I forgot how to fucking eat. I was gonna say swallow, yeah, I mean, but I knew you turned I mean, into something gross and gay. Dude, oh you son of a bitch. I was so close. <laughs> Almost had you. <ya. laughs> Almost had you. Okay, Bro, that was so for. good. I got I man, I just oh, don't know how you. much hey. I can eat. No, 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 no. Pace yourself. Enjoy it. I interrupted you because my fast was over. You were saying something. Um. Yeah. So, which fruits? I, I are all fruits good to go, or are there some you shouldn't eat? Uh, Excuse me. Or for you, anyways. Um. There's. I mean, it, it depends on who you ask. To be honest, uh, Doctor mm-hmm. Sebi says the worst fruits to eat are pineapple mm-hmm. and kiwi, but because of the acid yeah yeah because it'll it, it'll eat up your stomach lining or whatever but i mean just don't eat pineapple every fucking day you know what i mean don't eat kiwi every day but pineapple is the best fruit you're not gonna eat fruit every day anyway so just you know what if what if i i might if all i had to eat was pineapple <laughs> bro if you eat pineapple it's a lot better than the other acidic fucking foods that you be eating all the fucking time yeah that's true you're right there's so many foods that are acidic. Pizza is fucking acidic. You know what I mean? Like, way more acidic than pineapple. What what uh Eat what pineapple. nuts do you put in your mouth? Huh? What nuts do you put in your mouth? I don't <laughs> eat nuts. Okay. What what do you let droop into your mouth? It is a droop. Um, before the fast, I was eating pistachios <laughs> and cashews. Um, and why I, are those why are those good? They're, they're not. They're, they're fruits. Peanuts. They're fruits. Peanuts aren't. Peanuts are a nut. Ex- explain the explain the difference to the layman like myself, please. When you eat I'm a peanut, confused. you're <clears throat> killing. I mean, it. I have a weird way of looking at shit. Uh, most people don't think the oh, way I think. We know. <laughs> uh, but peanuts are a nut, which is a seed, <clears throat> and you're killing the plant by eating the peanut. Whereas okay. a pistachio and a cashew, you're taking it from the plant, and the plant is still living and growing more pistachios and cashews. Oh, yeah. okay, that makes sense. Yeah, uh, and it's I, the I don't fruit like killing of that the plant. Plants. As far in, instead of being the seed of the plant. Yes. Yep. So what about avocados? Are, avocados are, are good for are you. They? You can eat avocados. You can because I'll f- uh, fucking murder some avocados. Bro. Yeah, you can eat av- avocados or fruit. What about tomatoes? Tomatoes are a fruit. Huh. So you could just be out here in tomato sandwiches without without the bread and shit on it. Yeah. You just pretend it's a sandwich. You can fucking put dude, Pota- tomato and avocado together? Oh my god. Bro, you can have pepper, a- you can have olives, you pepper- can have There's so many fruits out there that you can have that are vegetables. Pepper's a fruit? Yeah. You look so happy. It's good. It's good. <laughs> oh, you know what this reminds me of? The time we'd come back with frozen yogurt. <laughs> and it would, he would definitely get chocolate and peanut butter Reese's. And he'd, take, he'd be high out of your fucking mind. <laughs> take that first bite. And he'd be like, it's good. <laughs> Just- Yo, 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 let's just go get a taste, bro. Let's go get a taste. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Man. Um, <laughs> this is a good-ass watermelon. <gasps> this is called a so, sugar baby watermelon. Okay. Little, it's like a little small one, seeded, I organic. Be, I want to be somebody's sugar baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you do. Uh, what? What's your, like... So, you know, you've been doing this for a year now, right? At least. What? Yeah. Fruitarian? Fruitarian. Since last April. So a year and a half almost. 
What's like your, um, I guess, what on a normal day, obviously not right now, but like, or, you know, when you're eating normally, uh, what's your like target food intake for the day? Does it have, or just you just eat when you're hungry? Or is there uh, like, oh, I should probably eat like X amount of food? So I usually take my break at 11. And uh, I'll have half a watermelon usually. Uh, okay. I'll bring a, like a strawberry banana smoothie. I put date. I put a, a few dates in there. Strawberry banana smoothie. It's like eight cups worth. It's a big ass mason jar worth. Um, and I'll drink that at work. And then when I come home, I usually eat the second half of the watermelon. That's a typical day. Um, sometimes I'll do a fruit salad where I'll have strawberries blueberries blackberries all kinds of stuff in a bowl and i'll i'll take that to work um but it's generally one watermelon a day usually usually okay yeah um nice yeah and you say you take supplements what kind of supplements you i don't take supplements like oh uh so i take herbs uh so i do um i'll do sea moss um, I was doing Himalayan Shilajit. Uh, I have Herataki. I have, um, Pearl Powder. What does this shit do? Pearl Powder? No, like all of them. What are they? What, what, oh, they're what just, is each one? Uh, a lot of it I take for, uh, to hair growth, uh, to fix the eyes. Um, <laughs> Stuff like that. It's uh, it's all healthy for you. It's all stuff that will help you uh, put your body back in order. You know what I mean? So, do you have a? Yo, I feel so fucking full right now. It's crazy. I bet you haven't eaten forty days. I had like three fucking, fucking bites. <laughs> um. How about what's your like average water intake? Do you find yourself drinking a lot more water now that you don't eat as much, or or that you're? Uh, I drink way less water when I'm when I'm not fasting. I drink way less water because the watermelon has so much water content in it. Uh, besides mm-hmm. cucumbers and watermelons come from the cucumber family, uh, watermelon has the most water of any other food in it. So eating one watermelon a day you're you're drinking h3o2 from the source you're not drinking h2o what color is your pee most days clear oh yeah dude watermelon hydrates you completely like clear clear or like yellow clear yellow clear but it's not like a dark Uh uh-huh you know what i mean not like my pee well i've never seen your pee you want to change that no, I don't. <laughs> All right, here's another video. <laughs> here's a doctor explaining uh, fasting and <clears throat> stuff. Anywhere between five okay. to 40 days. All I'm having is water. So full. And w- so if, if you Dude. can walk me through this, you know, me too. day one, what happens? Because, you know, the typical one we hear about is the 18-hour one. You start at 6 o'clock. Yeah, you don't yeah, need to lunch, right. 12 o'clock. That's what you hear about 18-hour right. fasting, you know. So... What, so what is, is the, the body same process? You can't overeat the fruit. Time. Yeah, it's the same process, but it's going to be ex- extended out. Instead of breaking your fast with breakfast, we would continue. Now, in our patients, let's be clear. First, there's a review of history exam and laboratory baseline. So we, we know from the history, the physical examination, the laboratory testing, that the person is a good candidate, that they have the reserves, that they have adequate kidney function, that they've got cardiac stability, that we've gotten them weaned off their medication safely beforehand. And they've done a good lead-in program. So they've eaten fruit, salad, and steamed vegetables only for a couple of days. There's no meat, fish, fowl, eggs, dairy products, oil, salt, sugar, or highly processed foods being used. That makes the transition to fasting much easier. And as I said, they've been stabilized off any medications. Now they start fasting. During the fasting state, we impose uh, a degree of rest. So people can move around. We even have little classes and things that they do. But basically, they're not doing vigorous exercise or uh, intense uh, stressful activities. And the reason for that is if you are extending a water fast and you continue to say exercise, what you would do is you'd force the body to, to generate more glucose to provide mu- use for the muscle in the brain. And the only place that it can get that glucose after the glycogen reserves after the first, say, 48 hours is through a process called gluconeogenesis, which is a breakdown of protein. So we don't want to deplete a patient's protein reserves. We want them to burn fat. And what's really exciting is we have actually recently uh, acquired a, a DEXA scanner, and we've been able to do really detailed whole body composition changes. And what we've done in the study that, we've pu- that we're publishing is we've been able to show that visceral fat 
is preferentially mobilized during fasting. Not just fat. Fat is preferentially mobilized, but specifically visceral fat. So, for example, a person might lose 20% of their total body fat during fasting, but they may lose 40 to 60% of their visceral fat. So the body's actually going in and mobilizing this um, the fat that tends to accumulate around the core and in, in the, around the organs that's thought to be most associated with compromised health. It'll mobilize visceral fat first and preferentially, and then it'll mobilize uh, adipose tissue, and then it will preserve protein. So that when you look at the weight that's lost during fasting, let's say a person loses, say, 20 pounds. Some of that's fat, some of it's protein, some of it's glycogen, some of it's uh, fiber that was in the gut, some of it's fluids. And then when they come off the fast, they regain weight. But the weight that's regained during recovery is almost exclusively um, protein, water, fiber, and glycogen, and not fat. In fact, the fat loss continues during refeeding. And so what we found with uh, water-only fasting is it's a unique, unique way of mobilizing visceral fat, which helps open up blood vessels, gets rid of the health-compromising components, much more so than, say, going on a high-protein, high-fat, keto-type diet. You know, the fasting-mimicking diets, which can blunt hunger and facilitate weight loss, uh, that may have some short-term benefit, may have some long-term serious consequences. Just like with water fasting, you wouldn't water fast forever. You water fast for a period of time, and then you go back to eating a health-promoting diet. But the net effect on the body is to reverse, to reverse visceral fat, normalize blood pressure, uh, it reduces insulin resistance, which allows diabetics to normalize their blood sugar levels. It breaks down some of the masses. For example, a person might lose 10% of their body weight, but they won't lose 10% of their tumor. They may lose 50% or 100% of their mass because the body's preferentially mobilizing tissues in inverse proportion to their need. And that's why visceral fat, tumors, growth, other things sometimes go away in fasting, um, disproportionate to the percentage of weight that the body loses. Do you lost 25% of your body weight? Yeah. That's wild, <laughs> dude. It'll it'll all start uh, it'll all start coming back. Plus, I like yeah. like I said, I'm I'm I think I'm gonna get a gym membership and. Uh, um, you don't need a gym membership, dude. You need to. Uh, I got weights it? at home uh, and I can run at home and yeah. But dude, all you need is push push ups, sit ups, pull ups, running, walking, really yeah. running. But uh, I lost. I lost my love handles. Um, I lost my male titties. Um, Damn, what am I going to play with next time I see you? <laughs> you're funny. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, there, there was a bunch of things that, that happened. Uh, one thing that, I, that was odd, but it, it's not really odd. Uh, so I, this still whole. Th- still, st- still can't see your dick. No. It'll grow, I, man. Leave it alone. Bro. It'll grow. It'll grow. Leave it alone. I got no, no Come hard on. time seeing that. Um, <laughs> the uh, the whole thing is a detox. When you're fasting, you're detoxing your body. Um, <clears throat> I sneezed a lot. Yeah. I was fucking sneezing a lot. Every day, sneezing, 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 sneezing. Um, so that was that was one thing that. We're like the before and after of somebody who uh, moved, lived out of the country and then moved to the, the United States. Wow. It's a ringing endorsement of the United States. <laughs> bro, like I said, when, we- I, when, I, when I went to Germany, bro, America's overweight. It's one yeah. thing. One thing about leaving the country. <clears throat> Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so just if you're going to do the fast, just prepare your body. Make sure you're you're uh, just listen to your body. Like I like I said, the last three days have been hard. I should have stopped on day 37 or day 38. Like uh, my like my stomach actually started growling on day 38, day 39. And today my stomach was growling. So. I think it was more so that you knew it was almost over. Yeah. And that was that was that was probably a mental thing. Yeah. Cuz it's mind over matter, buddy. I yeah. guarantee you if you're like, you know, what, I'm doing 60, but you really knew at, at 40 you were going to stop, but you kept telling yourself, oh, "I'm going to 60," your stomach going to grow. Maybe. Yeah, you you're probably right. I know I'm right. I'm always right. That's what I do. <laughs> Bro, I went to the fair, and the only reason why to go the only reason to go to the Great New York State Heart Attack is for mm-hmm. the terrible food there. And right. um we're at we were at like uh I think we we're near the Twin Trees booth. 
Uh, mm-hmm. And you can get that anytime you want, but that's where the blue pair at. It's fair. Right. And um, I'm like, that's... actually, Twin Trees, Twin Trees at the fair is worse than Twin Trees oh, at a, the normal restaurant. It's not even the same. I, I don't think not I've ever close. had Twin Trees at the fair. When I'm yeah, at the fair, the I'm eating like deep fried fucking Snickers Oreos. And, and fucking yeah! fried dough and yeah! <laughs> Gianelli <laughs> sausage, even though you can have that oh, also. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but my, my, it, I, I said it, t- it smelled good because mm-hmm. pizza smells good. And my dad's like, you know, you could cheat. I'm like, I'd be cheating on myself. Who the fuck am I cheating on? Right. <laughs> like, right. you're yeah. going to break a fast at day, but I think it was like day 35 or day 36. I'm like, you want me to right. break a fast when I'm so fucking close to the finish line? You know how fucking ridiculous, dude, that would not leave my mind that I didn't finish. And plus, yeah. I wouldn't have cheated with the crap at the fair yeah. anyway. Dude, the next thing you would have put in your mouth would have been the wrong side of a fucking gun. Yeah. 100%. yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that would have been it. That was extreme. <laughs> I'm just saying, I know you. Yeah. You take this shit serious. Bro, I would have been. Business. But But there's no, they don't, you know what fruit they sell at the fair? In drinks. And ice cream and fucking whatever cakes and pies they sell. They don't sell fruit at the fair. So I wouldn't have been able to cheat anyway. No, there's a, there's fruit at the fair. No, there's not. There, I guarantee you there's fruit there. There's not organic fruit and uh, there's no fruit anyway. You, you only eat organic Where's fruit? Where's the fruit? Are you rich? Fair. Are you rich? Nope. You only eat organic? No, but my body's worth every penny that I spend. Um, I'm either going to pay for it now. You're I'll, so right. I'll pay for it now with money or I'll pay for it later with my body. Uh, and there's no fruit at the fair. I bet I could have found you some fruit. You would find lemons. That's it. That's Only lemons. to go in somebody's beer and limes. Yep. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Crack that code, bud. Well, no, there's they have they sell wine at the fair, and wine is a grape. Wine it's a is fermented a grape. It is, it is. It's a fermented grape. You should probably be able to drink wine, actually. No, because they add like vinegar and all kinds of shit to it. Vinegar is no, all, na- all, all natural wine is just a fruit. Uh, excuse me. All right, here's another video. <laughs> Research shows that at 24 hours of fasting, we actually see intestinal stem cells produced. Mm. So what a stem cell is, is it is a cell that can go and repair any, any, it's basically any problem in there. So it will go in and repair the whole internal lining of your gut. The other thing that happens at 24 hours is we see the microbes start to relocate so they're not clumped together, so they start to spread out, which can allow you to start to uh, pull more nutrients in from your foods. And then the last thing that we see is things like candida, things like parasites. It, they don't like an environment where the mucosal lining is repaired, where the microbes have spread out, like you're literally changing the garden in there. And so they're like, we're out. We, there were, like there's, this isn't a, a, a great place for us to live anymore. And so you naturally will start to see candida d- die off. You'll see um, parasites go away if you dip into these 24-hour fasts. I love that. <laughs> the, 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 uh, they put the one she said. And then you naturally see, uh, uh, and they put two A's in there. Oh, <laughs> oh just, the, auto, you know, like, the auto caption. <laughs> Yeah, it's fucking stupid. Yeah. But anyways, I, I get what she's saying, and it makes a lot of sense. And she didn't and say candy. <clears throat> she said candida. I heard. I hear what I won't. I know you um, do. <laughs> Generally, that's how this podcast works. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, nothing to say about that. All right. <laughs> Dude, fasting is just healthy for you. It's. It is. It is. I fast. I really do. I know you, you. You know, I make a lot of jokes about food, and I clearly eat twice my body weight once a week. Um, but I do fast. It's usually like a fourteen to sixteen hour fast, at least, and sometimes twenty four hour fast. Okay, that's good. It's because you fucking work a ton and forget to eat. Uh not forget. 
just, I forget. Some, I just can't. Sometimes you just don't have time. Yeah. yeah. So, um, that well, that's another way to prepare your body. So, just uh, I do. Like I said, I do intermittent fasting, eight to eleven, and stop eating by five, or I'll start at twelve, stop eating at six. Uh, that's that's the killer for me, dude. I need food in my stomach to fall asleep. You know what you're doing when you eat before bed, right? You're putting your body in your digestive system in yeah. you're putting it to work. So it's harder for you to actually get into REM sleep and have a good night's sleep. I don't know, dude. I, I have a better night's sleep when I'm full than when I Bro, do. Bro, I'm telling I'm you, hungry. all you're doing is making your body work while you're trying to sleep. You're you're not you're not getting the sleep you need. For real. I, be, I believe you. I wish, that's what I'm saying. I wish it was easier for me to not want something to eat right before I go to sleep. Yeah. You know, it's something I'm working on, man. I listen, I've, Dude. Like we've talked about before. I've conquered a lot of challenges and addictions in my life. So I'm sure food eventually will get there. Just, I got to be tired of where I'm at. Yeah. And I'm not, and I'm not tired of where I'm at right now. So for sure. But I'm super proud of you, dude. This You're- is fucking probably the hardest thing I've ever known anybody personally to do. That's extremely impressive. I give you a ton of credit. Um, yeah, dude, I give you a ton of credit. It's extremely impressive. So congratulations. Thank you. Um, it's uh, it's it's pretty, pretty crazy. Yeah. It's something I didn't I didn't think was even physically. Yo, know, you know what people say? You you have you got three days without water before you die. You got a week without food before you die. Right. You know that's what everybody knows. That's what right? I grew up thinking. Everybody. So uh, the fact that you're, you know, living proof that that isn't true is pretty, yeah, pretty crazy. Now that I think about it, yeah, because hmm. I mean, uh, what else could people be lying about? Everything. <laughs> Earth thing. Um. Uh, yeah, dude. My whole life, growing up, seven days you're dead if you don't eat, and uh, e- even why like. I'm the first person I know personally. Not that I know my, I mean, I, I think I know myself anyway. We're not, that's a whole nother fucking, um, dude, I, I don't know idea. anybody personally that has gone this long without eating. And, uh, I'm actually very, very proud of myself. Very proud of myself. Yeah, you should be next time you do it, do a stop motion. Like day, day you start picturing just your fucking chonies or whatever. Day two, day three, day all the way through. Picture my chonies, your your underwear. Sorry, I'm. Oh, I'm, oh yeah, I yeah. mean just of your body of the changes. Yeah, the brrr, stop motion, a uh, little movie. Yeah, <clears throat> that'd um, be cool. I won't do it again for a while. Uh, yeah, no, I'm just, I know. I'll still know, do fast, time. like five day fast and shit. Um, right. But forty, uh, that's like a maybe like a one year thing, maybe every year. Pretty extreme. Yeah. Um, but even that, I mean, I'm fruitarian. I'm not putting anything bad in my body anymore. So, uh, but fasting is still, like I said, it's it's the healthiest thing you can fucking do, man. For real. Kill off all them parasites. Uh, there's there's people in the raw vegan community that think that it's a eating disorder, which an eating disorder is when you are doing it for weight loss and shit. I'm not doing it for weight loss so you know but it's clearly not an eating disorder there's tons of people who did it so right yeah if you're addicted to it and you're doing it all the fucking time and making yourself unhealthy from doing it yeah i would consider that an eating disorder so yeah (coughs) well i just wasted uh well no i guess i thought it's still good you you couldn't see it but the, the the audience could a whole bunch of fruit here. You know, why are you wasting it? Eat it. Well, I, I mean, I'm not, I probably won't finish. I'm so full right now. I won't finish that apple or that peach, but I'll eat the rest of it at some point. Why don't you cut up the peach and the apple? Well, that it'll turn a little brown, yeah, got, but it's still good for yeah, you. Yeah, you got, you got a point. You got a point, Joe. You got a point, man. <laughs> 
Bro, I, I make big fruit bowls and I cut up apples and peaches and stuff and I'll put them in the fruit bowl. And if I don't finish the whole fruit bowl, I'll put it in the fridge overnight and I'll eat the next day. The the It'll get a little brown, but it's not bad for you. It's Do you ever like when you cut it up, do you like throw it around, mix it up real good? Like kind of toss yeah, it? Yeah. Yeah. It's like a, it's like a fruit it. salad. Yeah. Yeah. So you like toss a fruit salad. That makes sense. All right. Here's another fucking video. You have. Fucking Fagola over here. <laughs> This is what the fitness industry doesn't want you knowing about. There's a reason why you consume protein like nothing in the fitness industry. I don't take any protein, but yet I get really good muscle mass and muscle gains. And the reason that is is because I use minerals to optimize my pH level of my organs so I get proper organ functionality. More importantly, I fast, and I fast long enough to activate my growth hormone. You guys can look these things up. Once you feel your growth hormone kick in, it's like nothing you've ever felt before. So the way I do that is I fast for three to four days every single week, no matter what. And I try to wait between at least 24 hours in between my meals. So I usually end up eating every Monday, Thursday, and Saturdays. And usually I feel so good during my fast. I just, I'll go like a, a, a fourth and a fifth day fully. Now, the whole thing is by the time you are starting your second day on your fast, your body's in ketosis, but it's not utilizing the ketones the way your body should. And on top of that, your glycogen levels drop. But when you consistently do this, your body starts to react differently. And then the next time you actually break your fast and you're eating food, your body starts to do things differently. It starts to process things differently. More importantly, if you stack minerals with this, the craziest thing that I can explain to you is in the span of three weeks when I did this, I... I literally took my bench from 250 to 285. That doesn't make any sense. And I did it fasting without any protein. I mean, at the end of the day, it's like we wonder how horses can just eat grass and get, you know, just get massive from it, just like cows. But I really think that the things that we're constantly eating don't give our organs the, nutri the, the nutrients that they need. And that's why our whole life is a business. When you go to, when you go to uh, like any convenience store, all the minerals are itemized. There's a reason for that. But if you just stack something like burdock leaf with shilajit, uh, burdock root, sea moss, those are minerals. Those are minerals that your body desperately needs constantly to optimize your organ pH level. And once you experience proper organ function mixed in with fasting, like burdock leaf has so much potassium in it. For some reason, I think it's like it has a heavy amount of potassium in it. But when you drink burdock leaf tea, it does something to your cravings because most of us are stuck in states of consumption. So you're eating so much food and your body's wasting energy converting that food into fuel or saving it but i have if you go through my page you'll find uh, all the fasting documentary stuff that i put in but i've been implementing this into my life now probably for the last six to eight months and it is life altering i'm 33 look at my skin i'm looking like milk chocolate jesus i gotta go <laughs> i'm looking like milk chocolate i'm looking like milk chocolate jesus <laughs> <laughs> I forgot he said that. <laughs> I got it. Um, yeah, no, but so who day knows? three. Who's this guy? Uh, I think it's a rapper. Uh, so on day three of your <clears throat> of your fast, your body produces a human growth hormone, and it's like steroids. Uh, if you do a forty day fast and you're not working out every single night, like I stop. I think I stopped doing dumbbells and shit like day thirty, uh, between day twenty five and day thirty because. I was so fucking beat afterward, like depleted. Um, but yeah, so after day three, like a, a, a few podcast episodes, I think I flexed for the camera and I had good muscle mass, but I stopped it because uh, I, I, I'm going to start it back up. I'll get all my muscle back. But uh, yeah, it's your body. Fuck your body is the most magnificent specimen it's better than any computer. It's better than any anything on in this world. Your body is, it's a fucking, I mean. It's a wonderland. There you go, John Mayer. There you go. Um, I know this guy from somewhere. Who is I this guy? I got two phones. 100%. I'm more on like the health side, like the doctor said, be like in the eating, you know what I'm saying? Like your regimen on the health. What the fuck and, like, is that? The shit you eat affects you and you can see it in uh -huh. your face. Like more on that type of level, like if you don't mind. Like, well, I'm going to be honest with you, oh, fasting is the cure for everything. That's Kevin Gates. Mm -hmm. When your body don't have nothing to eat, it's going to eat all your bad cells up because it go into fight or flight. Mm -hmm. And when it eats your bad cells, your body release hydrogen. And, you know, we breathe in oxygen. Sure. So mm -hmm. I be wondering, like, damn, I done went all day without eating and drinking, but I'm still pissing. Like, right. why am I pissing? Yeah, yeah. We create our own water. That's right. What's the fastest? The sun's up to down? Is that what? That's what most people do from sun up to sun down. 
But I like to do it to where when I break my fast, it's just with liquids. Mm. I like that liquid diet. That's hard. So what's the, what's the longest you, you fast for? Like no food, just water, yeah, yeah, like yeah. liquids. Yep. Yeah. Like 42 days. I did about three of them. 42 days? I hate what I'm about to say. I don't even want to. No, say I don't hate it. We, we learn it. This, this, yeah. I don't lie. This, nah, we it's, learn it's, it. it's, it's, it's kind of deep. You go there, bro. Nah, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm gonna just say this: when you fast, you're not delusional. When you fasting, things really get weird because you're not seeing into, you seeing beyond the physical realm. You you seeing into the spiritual realm. Why, but like, like, why are you protecting? Why are you protecting? Like, uh, like I was trying to be. I, I was trying to like kind of keep everybody kind of nah. keep my wingspan around everybody. But if you want to. No, because I got, when you talk about fasting, uh, I was playing for the Chicago Bears 2000, 2013. I went on a fast. I did 21 days. And um, Wayne Joseph, uh, one of my mentors, he'll be a general manager one day in the NFL. And uh, he is like, yeah, I think you should go on a fast. But when you fast, I want you to journal. I want you to meditate. And I want you to, um, I want you to pray, right? And so I did that. And one of the, I, had a, I, had a, I had an experience where my, my cousin... Um, Denise, her second fight of cancer came back. And I'm, I'll never forget, I'm driving down the highway going to practice. And I'm like, all right, what we're going to do, we're going to pray. But we're not, even, we're not even entertaining that. At all. It's fixed. Boom. So we pray. It's fixed. We pray. She called me back three days later. I went to the doctor. The doctor said they can't even find it. And I'm not saying that was true. Alhamdulillah. You know what I'm saying? Alhamdulillah. But fasting, bro, like when you I'm really, fast. when fast. you pray and you meditate and you write down, like so much stuff comes up and so many things can happen, but you got to be really aligned though. When I need something, when I'm really in need, like if I need the answer, I need clarity, I stop eating. I hate to, like, I know this sound weird to people when they hear this, but it take, it take about that 40 to really reset who you are as a person. That 20, so, that 21, that 21 going to be a complete like reset. But then once you get in that 40, man, close to them 30, that's when things get weird. So my meditation. So it, it was, it was crazy because the first 25 days, mm -hmm. I, it was so hard to meditate. Uh, like I could not, everything was running through my mind. Like normally when I meditate, it's fucking clear, like nothing blank. Like I'm literally just focusing on my body or, or I'll think about something I, uh, like in the future, like I'll, I'll picture like a full day of my future life that I, that I want to achieve. You know what I mean? So like, but the first 25 days for some reason, I was thinking about nonsense. I was thinking about work. I was thinking about this. I was thinking about Gunner. I was, you know what I mean. I was thinking about constant things, but after day twenty-five, like my meditations got deeper, and like they were incredible. Um, like it, 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 it's, it's crazy. I can't, I can't like uh, the. Uh, I did like a sweat lodge at the fruit festival. And um, that was the craziest meditation I've ever had. But I think it was because I was surrounded by other people, you know what I mean, that are all mm -hmm. doing the same thing. But uh, my meditations have been phenomenal. And that's one of the reasons I did it was for spiritual reasons. But it, 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 he is right, though. It feels like as soon as there's a question, there's an like you have the answer. And it's, it's the answer you're so fucking confident in having. Does that make sense? Someone's fireworks are going off or something. Um, does that make sense? Am I making any sense? Yeah. No, it does. Like you're so you have clarity. Yeah. Yes. Um, and go ahead. What? I was gonna say something, but we can't use it. Um, I can't. You know, it's. I'll, I'll tell you after. Okay. <clears throat> about having clarity in certain moments in my life. Okay. Um, but yeah, dude, a weird thing, not to cut you off, but a weird thing I heard literally today about meditation. Cause you know, I have issues with it. Like I, I yeah. tell you all the time, I'm not good at it, but, um, I heard somebody today say, you know, if you meditate for 20 minutes, you know, you say, I'm going to dedicate this 20 minutes to meditation and you get to a space of actual, like deep meditation or, or just like, your body and mind is uh, just emptiness or like 
stillness for 30 seconds, then you achieve your goal. Yeah. So, like, you know, I'll sit there for fucking 10 minutes and my mind doesn't stop, bro. Like, even from the moment I wake up to the moment I fall asleep, my mind, bing, 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 bing. Um, so, like, I guess I have to just try for longer and hope that I can get to that, you know, 10, 15, 20 seconds of, of, of uh, stillness. Did they have sensory deprivation tanks in Arizona? They have to. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. Try that. Yeah, there's a lot of strange wellness stuff out here. Strange wellness stuff. Um, try, uh, <coughs> e- even if you can't get to the meditation, it's still very relaxing. Um, you're literally just in a blacked out tank. You can't see anything. There's no smell. There's no taste. And you just you're floating on the water because it's you're on Epsom salt and your body is just you don't even feel like you have a body anymore. It will it should help you meditate because you you literally you forget that you're you have a physical body. It's crazy. Like those meditations are amazing. I was going to do one today uh, before for the podcast and all that, but I didn't. I should have. Um, but. Like, it's crazy, dude. I've had maybe five bites. Yeah, I took a few bites while the videos were playing. Um, I feel f- I have so much more energy now already. It's crazy. Yeah, there's sugar in your body. Fructose. Natural sugar. Fructose. Yeah, natural. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, try sensory deprivation tank. Uh, it'll help you meditate. Yeah. It really will. Uh, but yeah, 40 days fast are good for spirituality, like getting in touch with your body. Um, oh, they're good for detoxing I'm, all the shit out of your body. What do you got to say about a joke? Nothing. <laughs> nothing. Go ahead, dude. Nothing. No. This is fine. your podcast too, bro. Nah, it's, you know, we'll play the next video, you motherfucker. All right. <laughs> Here's uh, the doctor. Dr. Sebi. Because I was impotent. He said it was invited. Yeah. All folks in Honduras was telling me to drink eggs. I got that, bro. And wine and meat, cheese, butter. And the Mexicans say, you're crazy. Stop eating, and you can get all the sex you want. Stop eating, and it happened. So, brothers, if you're in trouble, stop eating. So, brothers, look, stop eating blood. Because when you get to my age, you want to be healthy. You want to be playing with her, right? Sure you do. Why not? She's your companion. You want to play and laugh with this woman? Really couldn't. Why? You see, this stuff right here. <laughs> this is what a man plays his manhoodness with. His penis. Yeah, I'm a man. But in here. To keep this penis erected, these little orifices, they call veins and the rest, has to be opened for the blood to flow, or else... <laughs> you, you, like that. You, you think I can't talk about it? I was 30 years of age. That was happening to me. And the last person that saw that was a woman named Audrey Williams. She said, what's wrong with you? I said, I don't know. <laughs> she said, you're sick. You better see a doctor because you're too young. You're 30 years of age. And I did. And it happened. But I had to stop eating. On the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh day, I was happy. On the eighth, ninth, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, I was going and holding on to the bathroom. I was, everything was spinning around. Why? Because all of the mucus that was leaving my brain, my eyes were very foggy. I couldn't see. I was already wearing glasses, but now it's worse. But on the 17, 18, 19, on the 17th day I woke up, I was looking at the ceiling, and I remember feeling so calm. A feeling that I had not experienced in many, many, many years. I was calm. On the 27th day, I didn't hear the wheezing in my chest from the asthma. My diabetes, I couldn't find glucose in my sugar. But on the 57th day of fasting, of not eating anything, I had an erection. Why? 
Why? Aha! They drain out. They drain out because I was taking these herbs and drinking water. Taking these herbs and juice and drinking water. And the body got a chance to do what? Cleanse itself. You see, it's easy. It's easy to bring back that happiness that we could love, that we could share. And like I said, they were taking sea moss, shilajit, uh, Celtic salt. Like people do a lot when they do a water fast. Um, and a lot of people say that you should have somebody supervise you when you do a water fast. Um, I'm just not down with all that. So I didn't. Probably should have. I didn't get checked out by any doctors the entire time. I told um, you to do a before and after. You don't listen. I don't. I don't trust those people. I would never let them stick a needle in me and draw my take my blood like a stick a needle I don't in wanna, me. You know. Also, thing. one thing we haven't talked about yet. My testicles. It's been one full year of the Godspeed podcast. Hey! This is episode 53. We did 52 weeks nonstop. So proud of us. Didn't miss a week. Some of them I fucking was lazy and didn't come up with topics, so we just bullshit a little bit, but still. Uh, <laughs> hey, those are some of my favorite episodes. Those are some of yeah, everybody's pretty... favorite episodes, actually. I've gotten compliments <laughs> that's, on those episodes. That's, that's what I'm saying. People yeah. like them. They like to get to know us. Yeah. Well, you. What do you mean? Everybody loves you, Joe. Bro, I get people that are like, they're like, yo, Dan's so funny. He's the fucking best. And then I get other people that are like, why is he on the show when he doesn't even listen to what you're saying? I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, well, we can't have two of me on the fucking show. He's got to be the general audience and, you know, right. be, in, I mean, be in denial about shit. I'm the everyman, you know, and you're just a fucking kook. It's fine. I'm not a kook, bro. I'm normal as shit. So I get the same. I get the same. Like people are like, "Yo, that Joe guy, he's uh really interesting." And then I'd be like, "That Joe, he's a fucking character, huh?" <laughs> That's okay. That's well, okay. Like, yeah, we're a good team. We we figure it out. Yeah. So, yeah. uh, I want to say first and foremost, congratulations. Thank you. Um, again for your for your uh for your fast, but two way to put this together for a whole year, dude. Um, we all know I've done a lot of the heavy lifting here. Yeah. Come up, <laughs> coming up with topics, the editing, the script writing. Um, thank you for uh, coming up with some jokes for me to tell once in a while. I, appreciate I don't that. come up with any of your jokes. <laughs> I don't want to take credit for those. And I don't script write. <laughs> I don't write a scripts. Hey man, I I we're not we're not Professor <laughs> Dave. Our shit isn't scripted by other people. Hey oh um. But, you know, really, this has been fun, man. So, yeah. uh, with that said, I do have to s somberly announce my um, retirement from... I'm just kidding, man. I ain't going nowhere. I was going to say, the fuck? <laughs> you were like... <laughs> no, I was like, well, there's the end of the fucking podcast. I'm not going to do this shit by myself. He was like... <laughs> yeah, definitely looked like that. He was like... Just kidding. He didn't look like that. A little bit. A little bit. Hey, man. Uh, you know, I'm. I'm. Hey, I might finally try that fruit diet. I hope you do, dude. The fruit you ate tonight I, was delicious. I know it was. It was. It was. It was all delightful, and I got more in the kitchen. And you have. It's six o'clock there. It's almost yeah, I'm not seven. Gonna eat anything else. Yeah, I'm not gonna eat anything else. I'm going to bed. Oh, at seven o'clock. Uh well, close yeah. I've Finish the apple. Time. Finish the peach. Uh, I'm so full, dude. How are you full Which, off of just I, the fruit you ate I, in front of me? I had a burrito before the pod started. <laughs> what the fuck? Of dude? course you did. You got you got call me out for all these people. I didn't call you out. I didn't know. <laughs> yes, you did. You son of a bitch. You knew. You knew. <laughs> you knew. I I figured. <laughs> Your face was. How the fuck are you full? <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker! You're a goofball. See, you know my body. See, I know your body. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta take. A, I gotta take a dump. <laughs> See, I know your body. <laughs> <laughs> All uh, right, I'll buddy. jokes aside. Let me know how that shit goes. I look forward to 
uh, word details, not visual I details. won't take a picture, I promise. Thank you for that. Send Dave a pic. He wants one, apparently. I'm not going to take a pic of my shit. <laughs> if I even, I even shit. I'm not trusting right. no farts, though. I can promise you that. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. <laughs> but, hey, put, you know those rubber sheets you used to use when you stayed the night at my house back in the day? <laughs> put those down tonight. Okay. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Don't sleep on rubber. It's bad for you. Hey, I don't ever use rubber, buddy. Ever. (laughs) Me either. Don't use condoms. (laughs) Hot take. (laughs) No, dude. It's they're bad for you. They're bad for the woman. They're bad for you. And no, don't use any condoms. Uh, Just don't have sex with a woman that you don't want to be with uh, for a, a long term. It's not that difficult. Get on yeah, that fucking not. retention, yo. <laughs> retention, bro. Just, you know, just re- I'm tented up all the time. I will end this with one last thing. Self-discipline is the number one trait a human can have because it will change your life for the better. It's You mean it's the best trait? Yeah, what I say. Okay, a number one trait. Isn't the number one trait the best trait? If you ain't first, you're last. Um, I read a. Yep. Yeah, all right, uh, Joe. Hey, man. I love you. I love you, bro. It's been fun. Godspeed. Godspeed. <laughs> You've reached the offices of the Godspeed podcast. We are currently closed. Please leave your information, and someone will return your call within 24 business days. Thank you. Yo, D, I got to admit, after that first bite, dude, it tasted so good, I, I'm i not on semen retention anymore, man. Fuck. <laughs>